back for another video. Today's video will be about the Vagos Motorcycle Club and their war with the rival Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. The Vagos MC is a 1% motorcycle club. They also refer to themselves as Green Nation. Many motorcycle clubs live by the 1% life, meaning they choose not to live by society's rules like the 99% that law-abiding citizens lives by. The Vagos are predominantly Mexican-American. Their club color is green as a way to pay tribute to their Mexican heritage. The name Vagos means vagabond in Spanish, so in other words, it means an adventurous, curious, wanderer type of individual. After World War II was when many motorcycle clubs were born. The Vagos was formed in 1965 in San Bernardino, California. Thirteen original members had created the Green Nation. Rudy Piero Espaza, Gil Carrasco, Whitey, Lucky, Freddy, Ruiz, Harley, Hog, Animal, Crazy John Estrada, Tom Tom, Moose, Squirrel, Alex Estrada, and Little John Bacanegra. Rudy was nominated as the official president of the Vagos and is considered the sole founder. Gil Carrasco was appointed vice president of the Vagos MC. For those that don't know how a motorcycle club structure works, founder is self-explanatory. He founded the MC. The president is the highest rank of any MC. He is the boss in charge, whether it be for a charter he is in charge of. National president is in charge of the entire MC alone. Vice president is the president's second in command, his assistant, his substitute to fill in. The sergeant at arms enforces club business and makes sure everything runs smoothly. He is assisted by enforcers who make sure everyone is in line, as well as security getting violent and rowdy if they have to. Secretary handles paperwork. He is what any secretary of any profession or job usually does. The treasurer handles the club's financial matters from illegal activities, be it from drug sales, gun running profits, any source of income. Prospects are the lowest drink. They are the rookies who are trying out to be full members and do what they're told by members. Often hazed and bullied to be tested, they are the club's guinea pigs and must at least do a minimum year as prospect before considered to be a fully patched member. And even then, he may still have a long way to go before being a fully patched member. The original headquarters in San Bernardino is nicknamed the Burdue Chapter. Overall, it has been estimated that there has been over 4,000 members in the Vagos MC along with around 200 chapters. The Vagos try to earn money legally by selling merchandise as well as do charity work like many other clubs. Their illegal way of earning money is where the beef with the Hells Angels comes into play. The Vagos had pushed their territory into Santa Cruz, California. In 2001, the Vagos and Hells Angels had a major riot in Costa Mesa, California. What escalated the violence even further in 2010 was when both groups were present at a Starbucks. They had another brawl in which gunplay was introduced in back-to-back -back shootings between both motorcycle clubs in Chino Valley. In 2011, once again, another fight took place. The fight all started by a Vagos member, Stuart Rudnick. During the fight, another member of the Vagos, Ernesto Manuel Gonzalez, shot and killed Jethro Pettigrew, a member of the Hells Angels. Two Vagos members, Diego Garcia and Leonard Ramirez, were shot but survived their injuries. Hells Angels San Jose, California chapter president Cesar Villagrana was charged with battery with a deadly weapon and one count of challenge to a fight with a deadly weapon and was sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison for shooting the two Vagos members. Rudnick was initially charged as a co-conspirator, but he pleaded guilty to reduce charges and ultimately testified against Gonzalez. Although Rudnick pleaded guilty prior to Gonzalez's trial, he was not sentenced until after he testified against Gonzalez. At trial, Rednick testified that he and Gonzalez had a meeting prior to the fight with the president of the international chapter of the Vagos. Rednick further testified that the president put out a green light on Pettigrew, meaning that Pettigrew was to be killed, and that Gonzalez said he would kill Pettigrew. No other witnesses testified to the existence of this conspiracy to kill Pettigrew. 
Gary Stewart Rudnick, who went by Jabbers, was sentenced to seven years in prison. Ernesto Manuel Gonzalez from the Vagos MC was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Hells Angels' Jethro Pettigrew. On the night of April 23, 2022, at a bar called Marquee Lounge, 1036 West Highland Avenue in San Bernardino, California, Hells Angels member James Vincent Dixon was shot and killed by the Vagos Motorcycle Club. Four other people were injured in the shooting as well. One month later, on a Nevada freeway over Memorial Day weekend, a group of Vagos were riding their motorcycles for the Flags Over Dam ride that started in Boulder City. The Vagos members then head to Veterans Memorial Cemetery. While at the cemetery, the same five Hells Angels prospects drove through the cemetery and began to cause problems. The Hells Angels members reportedly left the cemetery about 15 to 20 minutes prior to the Vagos members leaving when a group of Hells Angels pulled up beside the Vagos. The Hells Angels riders began to kick the Vagos members, trying to knock them over. That's when one Hells Angel stood up and began shooting at the Vagos members, causing the Vagos to fall off their motorcycles. Six people were transported to Sunrise Hospitals with injuries, two of which were critically injured. Surveillance video showed the Hells Angels were lying in wait ready to ambush the Vagos. Richard Devries, 66 years old, Stephen Alo, 46 years old, and Russell Smith, 26 years old, were all arrested in connection with the shooting on May 29th on US 95 near College Drive. Police used cell phone records to track the Hells Angels movement. It is evidently believed that this shooting was in retaliation for the Hells Angels member James Dixon murder at the Marquis Bar in San Bernardino the month prior. Richard Devries, Stephen Alo, and Russell Smith each faced charges of six counts attempted murder with a deadly weapon, six counts battery with use of a deadly weapon causing substantial bodily harm, criminal gang enhancement, one count conspiracy to commit murder with a deadly weapon. Just about a week ago, the Hells Angels made headline news again. The FBI received information that the Hells Angels that were arrested for the highway shooting conspired to have other Hells Angels come to Nevada to take care of witnesses. Hells Angels members Taylor Rodriguez, Ryan Melasco, Aaron Chun, 32, Cameron Triak, 34, Russell Smith, 27, and Reneric Padilla were all booked in jail on September 26 to face racketeering charges. The back-to-back -back violence between the Hells Angels and Vagos motorcycle clubs do not seem like there will be peace anytime soon.